In this video, I will discuss CAPF AC 2021 selected candidates paper one marks. Paper two marks, I already discussed about that. And also uh, paper one and paper two combined marks also I discussed key. You should have in normal 10% plus above uh, cutoff marks, then your final selection probability is very good. So here I have taken selected candidates paper one marks out of 151, I have taken 147 candidates marks because out of uh, uh, 151, four are from ex-servicemen and in ex-servicemen uh, marks are very uh, low as you know, for example, uh, uh, out of uh, four candidates uh, of ex-servicemen, one was having 97.34, another was 76.66, another was uh, 68 another was 73 so obviously all were less than 100 so i have taken here marks of 147 candidate and remember there are candidates who were having more marks than selected candidate but due to unfortunate reason either physical medical or due to some reasons they were not able to pa uh, participate in interview and they were obviously not selected for example, if highest marks you will see of selected candidate, so highest marks of selected candidate is actually 186.66. But uh, since UPSC is taking in full uh, number, in whole number, so it will turn to 87. So highest marks of selected candidate is 187 in paper one. That uh, score was uh, scored by 19th rank. But that person got uh, 93 marks in paper two and 85 marks in paper, uh, yes, or in personality test. In PT, uh, 85 marks in paper two, 93 marks. But here, the person got a very huge margin. That's the reason. But non selected candidate, till date, I have first, for the first time in my life, I have seen some student go 200 plus marks in paper one. I think one candidate, uh, I'm knowing uh, the name, uh, I'm, I'll not disclose at this time. Obviously, you may already knowing. So 201 plus. Uh, but uh, some of more will be there, but uh, exactly all candidates marks, I'm not knowing. Uh, selected candidates, so you can know. But non-selected candidate, everyone, you cannot know. So 187 means uh, round off. 187 is the highest marks. Second highest marks is 185, means 184.66, which is a uh, score by first ranker. So his uh, paper one mark uh, uh, is uh, 184.66, means 85 round off, 93 in paper two, and 1110 in personality test, and total 388. Okay. So first ranker is, uh, means highest marks is 187 round off. Second highest is 185. Third highest is 182 uh, round off. Uh, then fourth highest is 180, uh, sorry, 181. Then 180 and 179 marks are scored by five candidates. So top 10 marks are these 187, 185, 182, 181, 180, and 179 a score was by five candidates. If we take 170, 170 if or, or plus, then total we have 21 candidates out of one, obviously 147 candidates. Since I already told the those candidates who did not get final selection, we are not taking that a score because already those who did not get final selection or maybe they will get uh, in reserve list. Uh, some of are having higher score, but here I'm taking just uh, the scores. If we take uh, 100, uh, for example, 60, 160 was also a very good mark, 160 or plus, then total we are having 49 candidates, then good number of candidates. So 49 candidates are in that situation. If we take 155 or plus, 155 or plus, then we are having 69 candidates. If we take 150, that is the benchmark. So in benchmark, 89 candidates. So this is the first time 89 candidates means 
in general list for example 345 marks was scored by 91 candidates so out of you can say obviously some students are uh, below uh, also just i'm saying the total 91 candidates would uh, in general list you can say ki up to 345 marks and 89 candidates in total out of 147 got 89 marks that's mean benchmark you can say ki 150 i was al uh, already saying ki uh, below 150 uh, means uh, at that time uh, you so your score should be there every time it depends on paper to paper uh, if paper is easy higher marks is there in 21 you can say no sorry 2020 no score uh, was in this situation and 21 21 candidates are above here for example 49 candidates are there and in 2020 only one candidate or two candidates were there so this time 21 higher marks were awarded in uh, paper one now if we take 145 uh, plus or minus oh, 145 equal or plus then total 112 candidates if we take 140 or plus, then we are having 128 candidates. If we take 100, for example, uh, 38, 138, which is cutoff mark of paper one, so 134 candidates. So out of 147, 134 candidates go 138 or above. So this is the thing, the uh, breakup of marks, the uh, 170 or plus 21 candidate good. Uh, top 10 candidates means uh, top 10. I'm not about aggregate ranking. I am asking about, uh, I'm saying about paper one. So 187 is the highest, 185 uh, is the second highest, 182 is the second highest, third, uh, 183 third highest, 181 fourth highest, and one. 85th highest and five candidates put 179 uh, marks. And that you see he, these many candidates go 150 plus or 100 equal to 150 or plus put by 89 candidate. Means majority of candidates put good marks. Now in normal, if we see marks of top 10 candidates, so top 10 candidate, first ranker, okay, first ranker 185 round off. 93 in uh, paper 2 and personality test 1110. Okay, so second ranker candidate 179 marks uh, in paper 1 and 98 candidate in paper 2, 98 in paper 2 and 1110 in paper uh, A personality test. Third ranker 171, 1110 and 100. Fourth ranker 179. Okay. Uh, 108, 93. Fifth ranker candidate, 169, 10, uh, sorry, 169, 94, and 111. Sixth ranker, 171, okay, 171, 102, and uh, 105. Seventh ranker candidate, vote uh, 179, uh, then uh, 94, then 104. Uh, okay. Eighth ranker, eighth ranker got 151. Okay. 110, uh, 115. Ninth ranker got 165, then uh, 108, 99. Tenth ranker, 179. 93 and 98. So these are the breakup of top 10 uh, aggregate ranker. 185 in paper 1, 93 in paper 2, 110 in personality test. Second ranker 179, 98 paper 2, 110 interview personality test. Third ranker 171, 110 personality test 100. Fourth ranker 179, 108, 93. Fifth ranker, 169, 94, 115. Seventh ranker, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, uh, sixth ranker, 171, 102, 105. Uh, okay, so seventh ranker, 179, 94, okay, 94 and 104. 
Eighth ranker 151, 110, 115. Ninth ranker 165, 108, 99. Tenth ranker 179, 93, and 198. Now, if you see out of, for example, these 10, all are having very good marks in paper. One means that if we take 150 benchmark, no one is above. In fact, except it is the lowest marks. Otherwise, all candidates go to 165 or plus, except one candidate. So you can say, uh, see, and for example, uh, those candidates who are uh, who are having uh, higher, so in one component, uh, they may be missing. For example, uh, first ranker has little lesser marks in paper two, but uh, paper one marks is very high. Here also, little lesser in paper uh, two, but uh, paper one and interview marks is, are very good. Here, all three components are very good. Here, for example, uh, interview marks is little lesser. Here, for example, uh, uh, in paper two marks is little lesser. Here, for example, also same paper one marks is little lesser. So always remember, you recognize your own strength. It is not about average every time doesn't work. You recognize your potential. आप अपने जो भी पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव्स है उसको पहचाने और उसके आधार पे वर्क करें आप आपका यदि पेपर 1 अच्छा है तो आप पेपर 1 में बहुत अच्छा स्कोर कीजिए पेपर 2 अच्छा है पेपर 2 आप बहुत सारे कैंडिडेट्स को देखते हो कि पेपर 2 में पता चला बहुत अच्छा ले आए 115 प्लस ले आए 120 ले आए और उसके आधार पे आपका सिलेक्शन हो सकता है तो ये जस्ट आपको जानना चाहिए एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आपकी जो स्ट्रेंथ है उसके आधार पे वर्क करो कुछ भी क्वेश्चंस क्यूरी डाउट्स होता है तो आप हमें मैसेज करें आइदर इस व्हाट्सएप नंबर या इस टेलीग्राम नंबर या कमेंट बॉक्स में कमेंट कर सकते हैं ओके थैंक यू